TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be, man. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, go to twitch.com, as you can see down here. You feel me? Go to twitch.com. Type in the lit one as you see it written down here. And, uh, yeah, you can rewind, fast forward, anything with the previous things and things of that nature. Uh, don't forget, we do got merch, and we do got a Patreon. The link to all of this is down below in the description. Let's get into it, man. This is Having a Shocker. This is a documentary. It's not the purpose of this documentary is not to glorify, not to sensationalize, but to learn and see the struggles that go across around the world from my point of view, at least from, you know what I'm saying? For me, that's what I'm looking at this flow. So, so I've got the money is from it either. It's a cold winter's night in Bradford. Stephen and Nico are trying to order some spice. Hey, I'm up at, you know, in, in GP car park. Spice, this 2024? Spice is still prevalent, huh, man? I said that. Sun pub. I can't, bro, I can't. Sun pub. Sun pub? Yeah. All right, bro, how long? 10 minutes. Nice one. After half an hour of waiting, they finally hear back from the dealer. The oh, is there. Bro, almost got hit by a car. Did that, that's that what I just said. Oh, okay. and, and how much is that there? Fifty pound. And how, will, how long would that last? Tonight. 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 With a fresh bag of spice in hand, the pair tag along with a friend to go to his flat. Oh. Is this his flat? You sure? Somebody has to hold the handle down, bro. Right. 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 Did you get evicted or what? The book is skyrocketing before getting further. Mm. And uh, right, I've got, I've, I've, I've got a fucking, I've had 18 fucking 20 oh, stitches in the back of my leg, mate. They got not more than three weeks ago. Yeah, like, operation. Okay. If you can't kick the door in, just move, let somebody else try. Fucking like, I'm fucking fair. What are you doing with the paper? What I'm buying in the pocket. So they about to chop, they about to pop. Oh, hey, don't hate you, dude. Nah. Hey, Is it going? Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, right. Lock myself out of my own house. No, scary little cook till 10 o'clock. Right, give it a fucking boot. Right, wait up. No, that's what I Failing to gain entry to the flat. Oh, man, that was funny. Did he injure himself? And becoming increasingly withdrawn, Stephen and Nico decide to leave their friend and head back to their tent. Yeah, yeah. You get these given, yeah? Yeah. Being homeless on the street, right? And we get these given, yeah, to come back to a tent. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. Wait. This is. Steven, Nico's mate. Jamie has asked me to protect his identity so his face is blurry. No, I'm not saying nothing. Come on, I'll come here with that. Seriously. Oh. The biggest mistake they give you here is yeah. some milk. Yeah. Yeah. And some wheat bits. And we're going to eat them. Oh, the noodles as well. What would you just yeah, eat them dry as well? Uh, mm -hmm. 
Oh, I can put some jam on my noodles and just scrum them like that. Like, yeah, <laughs> Why he sound like he being so ungrateful? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand, like, you, this, is, this is like, you don't got no bowl or something or, or like, but just make it happen. You making that bag of spice happen? <laughs> you can make a bowl happen, a styrofoam bowl. Like, this like this would make me mad. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, what are you talking about? I'm on week of it, so. I completely understand your situation and what got you here, probably. But, like, at the same time, these are people trying to help out. Like, you sound mad ungrateful. You put some milk over it. I will, yes, I will eat. If I'm hungry, I'm eating the Weetabix dry. I have some right there, too. I have Weetabix. I own the box. It's up there. Now, is, are, is they still good? I don't know. Because I'm not, me personally, <laughs> I'm not eating Weetabix without fruit at least. I need at least a blueberry or something. But that's me. Me and him are not in the same situation. And I do feel for him, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, whatever's given to me, I'm grateful. Thank you. What I would do is I would take the Weetabix and I'd dip it in the jam. Yeah. I'm at your end. <laughs> and drink some milk. You know what I'm saying? There's ways. It's yeah. ridiculous. So, so what are you going to do with all this, mate? Uh, Watch it. Watch it. All those homeless people, yeah, we've got fuck all, but we've got plenty to give, yeah. yeah, and there's all them that have got plenty to give, yeah, but don't give fuck shit. all. There's about two, three hundred big, town. massive buildings that are all abandoned. You know Grenfell Tower? Yeah, I know Grenfell you know, Tower. Grenfell, Tower. Grenfell, because of the cladding, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. lots of buildings in Bradford have been yeah. cheap cladding, so that's, that's the same. So they're all, all closed, like? I were living in one on Hampshire. Are you editing blurred out? That's called Appleton Point, yeah. I just yeah. got in there, it was bad, I, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't taking drugs, I loved my life at the point. It was badass, man, I was killing it. Yeah. <laughs> and then one, one day they come to my room and said, listen, you've got to move out in half an hour. And they moved me to Campbell House on Paradise oh, Street. Right. I thought, Campbell House on Paradise Street, it doesn't sound that bad. I got there, it was the worst ice Bro, I it. I've seen in my life. So I was put in the middle of all drug dealers, Drug takers. But like you weren't really living there, like you were like squatting there and like bailiffs came and removed them. Prostitutes, like everything, yeah. And I'd yeah. come from a pretty good, my mum would, mm. she, she tried her hardest to make man all good, yeah. And I've still got into this mad circle, yeah. Mm. And I'm not from this life, yeah. I only started taking smack and crack last year, me. Mm. yeah. I went. But for, I went 29 years without anything, and then my nana and granddad have died within a year. Well, within months of each other. That's my On any given night, 345 people are homeless in Bradford, including 145 children. I don't understand how children are homeless anywhere. Like. With this many turning children. That's a blur out, YouTube. It's blurred out. No better feeling. No better feeling. <sighs> okay. I mean, to each their own. I beg to differ that there's a better feeling than that. And all I'll say about Bradford, right, is Spice has wrecked it, and it'll wreck every other city it gets to. You know, I got on my feet, bro. You won't believe this. Shit, I've done a burglary, yeah? Listen to this. Two Asian guys have moved to Bailey. We knew there was something about them. They had leather coats on, right? They had yeah. nothing in, in the house, else in the house, by a pump corder on a stand. So it's an empty house? Yeah, well, as far as we knew, but there were two agents running it, yeah? So you're thinking it's a... There were smugglers all over a, a drug, drug house or something? Well, I've got in the house, what have I got? Three kilos, smack. Yeah, and a leather coat each, right? Yeah. Three months later, no, the same day, the next thing, grab with tag watch, yeah, and film the address, Geneva, I thought, shit. Three and a half months later, my dad said, can you look at that watch, son? I said, why? You know what? Do you know how much my dad got for it? Oh, I guess. 13,000 pounds. That's 
what you're giving me. And it was you to take two grand off me, my dad. The situation in Bradford hasn't always been this bleak. The city once housed the largest industrial production in the country. Salt's Mill, a textiles mill that produced an exp- A lot of the cities that used to do like a lot of the manufacturing, textile fishing or anything like that, they're all like down bad because it's like, like these are dying industries. A lot of people are out of work. No more money, no more opportunities. Factories are closing and it's crazy, man. Like, like a lot of these buildings, like I know like it's expensive, but like repurpose them, like put something there. Businesses don't even want to come step in here no more. That's tough. Boarded cloth for countries around the world was so successful the owner built 850 houses for employees. Over the years, most, if not all, of the industry has moved abroad or shut down due to safety concerns, leaving a lot of families without income. What effect has that had on young people? What's it like to live in Keighley? Like, proper bad. It's rare shit. It's like, just full of bad stuff like people who do drugs and stuff and like not very great shit down stabbing all over bare police and all getting rammed Pe people getting what? rammed rammed yeah. and what does that mean? you get crashed into your mitt what's like the worst thing you've seen happen around here? Uh, <laughs> a man taking a shit out of the how did you react? Uh, I just ran away you ran away? yeah well you know when nature calls I mean You gotta do what you gotta do. If ain't no porta potty, ain't nowhere to go. Like, listen, I'm not gonna hold it in. I gotta evacuate. Simple. <laughs> all right. If you could improve Keithley in one way, what would you do? Get rid of all the junkies. Where would you put them? In the junk. <laughs> in the junkie home. Okay. Or in the bin. <laughs> What's like the worst thing you've seen happen, man? Stopping puppies, isn't it? And you've guys personally seen that? Yeah. And how, how do you react in those situations? For lads like these, Bradford can be quite an unsafe place. They proceed to show me what they carry to defend themselves. You recording, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. And what, what, what do you use that for, boss? From these encounters, you can start to see the long-lasting effects of industry leaving the country. So I just got on the, the local bus. And I'm going to the, the most dangerous estate in uh, Bradford. It's called Homewood. And uh, I've read some news articles this morning saying uh, like it's a no-go area for the police. The police don't even want to go there. Uh, the youth are basically uh, in control of the area. About this area, is it okay to ask you guys a few good questions? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is it like to? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. You ultra brave. If this was not like a setup, you like you just walked up to them and just act. Four dudes with masks on. Or was this like a setup? Like, hey, I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna ask y'all with the camera off, but let me turn it on and walk up to y'all and ask y'all again, like. To live in Homewood. Outside for life. <laughs> Gang stuff, yeah? So would you say it's like a dangerous area? No, no, no. And what's like the worst thing that you've seen happen here? Probably a... So uh, would you say like that, that like you guys are, are in control of this area? Yeah. Outside for life. Outside for life, yeah? Oh, Alright, yeah man. I'll jump, jump on the back of your foot. That's as far as it goes, bro. No, oh, 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 oh. What do you mean? Oh, 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 like lift yeah, it up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. All right. Sit up, fuck. Fuck, you know, like... Oh, it makes for a good vlog, though, or, or whatever documentary type. When you out and about and, and, and you doing stuff, videos like this, and the locals offer you this type of stuff, you gotta do it. It's content. How much does a thing like this cost then, bro? Five and a half grand. Five and a half grand, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that... You bought that for five and a half grand? How did you save up for that, boss? L side stands for lower side, the rival gang being top side. Told me over the years there have been multiple stabbings in Homewood between the gangs over stolen bikes and who controls the area.
So just give him a ride. Not many gangs in, in Wolverhampton and uh, Birmingham would let you uh, on the back of their uh, five and a half grand bike. You know, they just met me in that, so, well. <laughs> it's not a bad area, this. It's not a bad area? No. So like, uh, have you ever seen anything bad happen here? Like, what's the worst thing you've seen happen here? No. You've never seen anything bad happen? No. So. Bro be walking around with his eyes closed or something. Like, I don't believe you, sir. Like the media said, you know, that, that gangs own this area and they run a riot and stuff Did like they that. Have? They don't? They don't, no. Okay, and we've also I mean, been... All people around here are respected by Hogan's. All the people? Yeah. Um, and we also heard that the, the police are scared to come down here and the, the bus service... That's is, a load of shit. It's a load of shit. Yeah. Okay, so what... I'm not gonna lie, I kind of believe him, man. You gotta, like... From the outside looking in, stuff might be seeming bleak to other people, but like that's just like with Chicago. Like y'all hear stuff and they amplify it and they make it sound way crazier than it is. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, if you in neighborhoods that you're not supposed to be in, around times that you're not supposed to be in there, looking suspicious, then of course, like like you gotta know your surroundings, where you at, and what you're doing. But like. Why do you think like this the stigma is about about Homewood? Why do you think it gets a bad rap in the media? It's like Ravenscliff. Ravenscliff gets a bad bad rap, and Ravenscliff. Thorpe Edge does. It's because it's Bradford, right? All idiots are down London. Yeah. They don't come up here. They can't they can't stand talking to you like I'm talking here. Yeah. Right? They're scared. I mean, you're walking around here with that on your hand. Yeah. Right? And nothing's happened to you. No around, but if they saw you, they'd talk to you. Yeah. It's like lasses in there. And this couple down here. That's okay. a fact. Like, if he really is out here and doesn't know anybody, didn't plan that, like, bro and them came up to you, talked to you, let you ride on the back of the bike, like, like if, I feel like they got beef, but they got beef with who they got beef with, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Bradford's a great place to live. Yeah. Because you get respected. Okay. okay. So so if you could tell the media one thing, what would you say to them? I said they're a load of wallies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, boss. <laughs> Have a good day. So much corruption in the city today. There's so many people who have gone astray. Some of us live, some of us die. Some of us wake up and wonder why. In the ghetto blues, bullets are used. In the ghetto blues, yeah, we get confused. Some take acid, some take crack cocaine. Some take heroin to rock their brain. Don't let our children go insane. Just look at the sky, the sky is above. Many take to the spirit of love. It's a blessing from above, the white devil in your school. Yeah, you too fast now, hold it home. Sorry there, brother. I had that crap from last night from the Columbians. So the Columbians are Colombian and so is the Russian and Mafia. So you got in the secret intelligence. Don't worry, I'm not a legal alien. But we're all human beings in a day. We're all, yeah, we're all children. Yeah. No, don't, so anybody's intelligence, not anybody in general. So who's vulnerable and who's feeble before I exploit anyone, before I exploit And hunt the hunter before you become hunted. Yeah. And that's the politicians and the media of life around the world. You've got, you got a wire? No, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, but this is real life, isn't it? Yeah. I see a lot of people die, I see a lot of people live. I mean, I'm not, not a hero, I'm still living on the streets. I love the streets. <laughs> hey, they said he rapped more clearly than he talked. That's a fact. Even though I can go in the building, but I can't live in the building because I still feel institutionalized. That's where I'd be out of Like all cities did. He couldn't even put the clothes caption on the screen. He couldn't, he ain't, he, he ain't know what he was saying either. There's two sides to Bradford, the side that you see. Bradford is the city of joy, and it is home away from home. And the sides that you don't. Do you know why people is like leaving the street like this? Because it's a fucking dirty bastard. Polish mate that's going through bins and getting out of it. Build the scruffy bastard. But unlike other cities, the sides are closely intertwined and poverty, drugs and violence are just a normal part of this city's life. If you'd like to see the uncensored version of this video or support what I'm doing, then there's a Patreon link in this. I mean, I, I hear you. Censored version just right for me, man. I'm glad you did this censorship. Killer, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your opinions are. If you live in Bradford and what your, what your views are, I'm gone.